All right, hello fellow YouTubers. This is part two of the Hori Real RK Pro Premium Vlux Edition. Now, um, like I said on the first review, it's everything on the outside. Now, yeah, you see as it is, but now we're gonna go venture into the guts of the stick. An interesting way of opening this stick. It doesn't open, oh, it doesn't open normally by taking the top off. It actually opens like a real arcade cabinet, like so. Kind of cool, Now, the new thing about Hori, which I'm really, really happy about, is that notice the quick, quick disconnects. They are specially modified for the purpose, well, of modifying, as well as the universal not the universal, I don't think this is universal, but the, as well as the mounting plate. It allows any type of sand wall. Obviously, um, they're using a square gate. You can tell it's a square gate and whatnot. This is a sand wall stick. You can really tell by the clicking and whatnot. Very nice stick. Now, what you have here is another interesting contraption. Is this. This is what connects everything. Now, um... Modders do beware. Modders do beware. Do not touch this, because this is like the, uh, how many say, if I may say so, the brain of this beautiful machine. Now over here, we have these two weird, well, bar things. People might be wondering what they are. Really, like I said in my other videos, what those bars are there are for is, um, I didn't move the camera. Is so you remove. Two buttons, say like these, and put them here, and you um, put those. Uh... <laughs> oh, my brain's dead today. Those um, button caps right here to replace any buttons that you don't want and whatnot, and you put the buttons here. Get a better look at them right there. See? Now, obviously, that's. N after that, there's nothing really more much inside of the stick. After that, it's that, you know, there's nothing more to add for the stick. Interesting thing is, is that what I liked about the quick, quick disconnects is that they actually have grips and whatnot. So you don't have to, you know, pull out with pliers or whatever. Um, customization of artwork. As of now, of March, March, May 17th, 2010. I have not seen any templates in which you can actually mod the stick. I haven't seen anyone actually been able to successfully modify this thing. And, you know, I really don't want to mod it since it's got the original Taito Felix look. So, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's a very nice stick overall. And, um, you know. If I was to give it a rating compared to other sticks, say Hori Real RK Pro 3, when it comes to quality and the parts you have, very nice. Absolutely the best. You know, and you know, I really, really like the quality of the buttons, everything, you know, it's all Sam Wall and that. But size, you know, it's a big stick. No doubt about it. It's a very, very big stick. And, you know, pricing, mm, price, that really got me there. The pricing of this thing is $300. That's from the Hori official site. If you want to get one, you can get from probably from Akihabara, Akihabara shop.jp or um, Play Asia. But I checked out Play Asia. They're out of stock now. So these sticks are very limited and um, they're very expensive. However, I do have news in Don't Fret It. These are not Japanese exclusive. I have heard from one of my uh, friends that this stick might come out in the United States. So keep your hopes up people that didn't get it on the first one, you'll be able to get it on the second one. Now, some people might say, you know, they're not, you know, what I really like about the stick, and I should have said this in the first review, is they're centered. The buttons are centered, which is really nice. It gives, and if you look at that, I said in the first review, there wasn't a lot of wrist room. I was talking about the button area. For some people, they want more wrist area. But if you look here, you got so much wrist area on the stick. You know, 
I, I tend to hold the stick like this, you know, like that, all that, or sometimes like this, you know. So, you know, it really depends on how you hold the stick, but what I'm saying is that look at all that wrist room. It's really nice. Button placements as well. These are these are the standard Japanese cabinet style buttons. And, of course, you got the start button right there. So, other than that, you know, it's a very nice stick. Um... It, yeah, so that's it for the Hori Ryo Arcade Pro Vulex, and this is a PS3 version, obviously, because you can see the PlayStation logo. There is also an Xbox 360 version, however, I noticed that the buttons here, four buttons here are always colored. I don't know why Hori always does that, maybe to mimic the Xbox 360 controller. I know that some people don't like that, makes it look a little, you know, childish, but that's what they do. You can always replace it with different stuff same functionality nothing different just works for the xbox 360 now for my next review um i'm gonna be reviewing this stick now i know there's been a lot of reviews out there but i felt like i want to review this stick as well and this time i want to just review as is not right now but on the next review and also i might show you how to show people how to install their own Buttons. This is a Sanwa button. Hori button. Sanwa. Hori. Yeah. Just for another, just a heads up for the next um, reviews. So, yeah, this is Chimera94. And this is your, well, hopefully, your new arcade stick review center of YouTube. Till next time. Bye.